Hey, what's up? Hanging with the creatures. How are you doing today? I came across this uh, trailer. It looked like it came out yesterday. Uh, Dead Island 2, which I'm excited for. This is official extended gameplay trailer. So sit down. Let's hang out for 14 minutes and 35 seconds for the trailer in a few minutes. I might react during it. I might react within. It's all about how these trailers go since there's so many out there. But um, let's jump into this guy. And before we do, I was a big Dead Island 1 fan. I really liked it. Riptide as well. But we'll see how this is. I hope it's a lot like the first one. I just wish it the crafting is like other zombie games. But we'll see. I, we don't know until we watch it. So let's uh, give a reaction throughout this. Oh, I'm so silly sometimes. Okay. Count of three. One, two, three, go. What you're about to see is a short work in progress preview of Dead Island 2 gameplay and just a glimpse of the wider epic pulp adventure spanning the undead streets of LA. Our journey starts in Bel Air just a few hours after the introduction of the game. Infected, but somehow immune to the zombie virus. Our immediate goal is to reach the authorities at the Halperin Hotel. It's looking good. Back center Looks south of here. Pretty beautiful. Beverly Hills. Back center this way. Halperin Hotel. Get my suite ready. Between our roster of six slayers, we've selected <gasps> Danny. Becker. A foul-mouthed brawler from Ireland with a twisted sense of humor. Ice. He's a tenacious yet balanced character, well suited to an agile style of combat. Staying mobile and waiting for your moment to strike will be key to survival with this playstyle. Okay, okay, kind of feels like the first one. Each of our slayers have different personalities, stats, and starting abilities. But thanks to our flexible skill system, you can personalize their fighting style in any way you see fit. Get the zombies' attention. Let's right. pause a second. Thanks to our revolutionary dismemberment technology, oh. flesh, crushing bones, slicing muscles, and melting zombies will always look bloody and feel spectacular. Okay, that looks really, really cool. Locational damage is not only for show, but will allow players to strategically target the individual weaknesses of different deadly foes. Huh. Despite the outbreak, our world is alive and kicking with oddball survivors and crazy side quests to complete. Are you still out there? Uh, can you hear me? Blast it. Hello? Don't run away. We need to help each other. Let's ignore this request for now and continue towards the Halperin Hotel. I should check my map. All these streets look the same. The road to Beverly Hills is just beyond that mansion. Huh. I wonder how big this map is. Is it all uh, L.A.? Seems like we have enough firepower, but we should be careful nonetheless. That dodge is cool. Oh, slow motion. Best to choose when and when not to engage. So let's try to find some shelter. If you feel the urge to fight, though, our world is filled with tons of exciting weapons, each with their own unique and brutal fighting style. For some satisfying dismemberment, bladed weapons are always king. And thanks to our flesh system, I don't see a repair bar. With your katana feels as smooth as slicing butter. Oh, nice. Uh, repair on the weapons. I guarantee you're going to have to repair them. Oh, that's so cool. For some tactical crowd control. Look at the jiggle. Than strong, 
heavy tools like a sledgehammer. <laughs> okay. What weapons like this are perfect for crushing bones and clearing a path? Maimed. Wow. Alongside a copious amount of melee weapons, guns offer a powerful addition to your arsenal. Capable of slaying long range targets and triggering deadly traps and explosions. Just be careful not to waste too many bullets while you're having fun. Limited bullets, okay. huh? Of course. I'm on track to get to this hotel of theirs. I took I took too bullets many bullets to do, do that. On the evac checkpoint. The road to Beverly Hills is just up ahead. Things are about to get a lot rougher, so we should upgrade our weapons and equip ourselves for the challenges ahead. Okay, let's see if they show us repair. Workbenches scattered all over Los Angeles. Players can retrofit their tools with DIY mods and perks, creating the most obnoxiously crazy weapons. From flaming katanas to electrified daggers and exploding hammers, the possibilities are endless. That's cool. The animation looks really cool, too. Look at these. I'll see how these work. Oh. Like most of the districts in LA, there are multiple pathways we can take to reach our destination. With challenges to unlock, characters to meet, and stashes to uncover, venturing off the beaten path has its benefits. Sounds like someone's having a party. Let's check it out. Hello. Uh, sorry, zombie. Party's over. I'm not a zombie. Just... Is it a pizza? Hey, do you have pizza? Of course <laughs> I do. Now let us in. Uh, yeah. Well, if I open this door, a whole load of zombies might rush in, and I'm pretty sure that's a, a bad thing. Then why have you left the gate wide open? Oh, yeah. Well, we're having this big party, right? And some of the guys, not, not me. We're riding on a gate, and, and, and it broke. Now, there's a whole bunch of spares in the garage, but it's, like, full of riffraff. Fine. I'll give closing it a lash. Oh, killer. I'll hit the garage button. You bounce the party crashers and fix things up. And then, dude, Mikasa is, is, uh, your Mikasa. Hey, Roxy, we got company. Find your jeans. <laughs> We've agreed to fix the Rockstar's gate. Time to go to work. Hell yeah! Fighting me. Rusher. I can jam to this. Right gear. Some type of walker. With dozens of deadly zombie types, each undead archetype you encounter presents right a near. unique challenge with different strengths huh. and weaknesses to overcome. Okay, okay, okay. This has been fun, boys, but I should close that gate now. Circuit breaker. This will work. Wow. If we get a bunch of those and it's just not like 10 of them. I don't know if I'll get tired of this. Burning runner. To better face this zombie horde, we expanded the equipment at the player's disposal. Curveballs are a brand new, exciting addition, offering both lethal and tactical advantages. Take meat bait, for example. A nasty sack of blood and guts that can draw zombies away from you. Perfect for some gruesome distraction. When they blow up. Okay, cool. Genius. Hey, were you getting the pizza? 
Or will you fight zombies in the yard? Feeding pizza to the zombies. Oh, right. You say pizza? Right. No pizza. Sorry, man. Big evacuation party, you know. Oh, shit. We gotta get to the evac. Roxy? Roxy, hey. We should get back on track to the evac center. From the iconic Hollywood Hills and Venice Beach to the A-lister mansions in Santa Monica and Bel Air neighborhoods. Our I hope those don't pop up like that, do they? Epic roller coaster ride through LA's most iconic, vibrant landmarks. The Halperin Hotel is just down the valley. Occupied by the now undead military and ravaged by massive earthquakes and wildfires, the hotel is now a powder keg. Lucky Early. for us, though, we've introduced a powerful set of skill cards that enhance Slayer abilities skill cards, okay. to help level the playing field. Dodge. Block. Plus more. Drop players kick. can swap and combine them, tailoring playing their playstyle to suit any scenario. War cry. The Halperin Hotel. You can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. I wonder if the map is like as big as going from there all the way down to the beach. Quiet, there's no, isn't it? There's just a map all the way in between. There's like no fast travel. And they only have those three areas. I hope it's all of LA. We've decided to adjust Danny's build to better resist close quarter attacks and deal slow but powerful damage. Hmm. Gosh, it's so cool. Looks so good. The interaction with the zombies, all the different ways they fall and you can kick them and they stand and stuff like that. It's really cool. There's a lot of zombies, just not a few. Your environment is also another resource to exploit in your quest for survival. Health boost. From car batteries to gas canisters and acid spills, chaining elemental effects like electricity, fire, and caustic acid is just another way to wreak havoc on the dead. Hmm. While locked at this stage in the game, by tapping into your corrupted DNA, you'll be able to unleash deadly mutations and explosive abilities that mimic the powers of the undead. Wow, that's kind of cool. Was not we expecting that. This fury mode. Fury mode, huh? With the military all but gone, we need to find another way to contact the authorities. While scavenging for resources, we'll have to face new and unexpected zombie encounters. What do the bosses look like? Sure, I can find something to put it out. In Dead Island 2, you'll face more than simple walkers. These deadly and challenging mutations pose unique threats. Beyond the dozens of grotesque variants in LA, Apex are hyper mutated zombies that pose terrifying challenges with unique powers and behaviors. And our standard zombies come in all sorts of unexpected variants. Wow. With the fire extinguished, our hotel excursion ends with Danny discovering a functioning military radio. Breaker, Breaker, can anyone hear me? I hear you. I'm Dr. Reed. Unaware that another sinister and quite unique encounter is waiting in the dark. Doctor, I need to be put me on hold for just a moment. Hey, wait! I need you! You have to get here! Hello? Oh. Okay? Our behind-the-scenes preview has come to an end. 
but with so much more to show you in the coming months, we wow. hope you enjoyed this small snippet of Dead Island 2. April wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Pause this. I say wait a minute because more to come in the months. I guess it'd be just this month and next month, huh? When did this come out? Maybe they're talking the end of February. Let's flip this a little bit. Let's pause it. So April 21st, 2023. It's going to come out on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Alexa Game Control. What the heck is that? Hmm. Okay. Epic for PC. Because I think Deep Silver and them have a deal together. Dead is land. Deadisland.com. I was just kidding. All right. Well, I'm pretty excited about this. Memories. A few different bats of shows. Hello edition. Okay. Bonus content. Amy. Nice. Nice to meet you, Amy. Oh, collector figurine. Nice. Well, I don't know. I'm like all these new games I'm always excited for. I got really burnt in a couple of different games, but the last one was Battlefield 2042, right? They're finally came out in what 2021, and now they're finally like getting the a little over a year and they finally get the game playing right. So I think this game looks pretty damn amazing, and I probably have a lot of fun in it because Dead Island 1 was really fun. In fact, I went, I think I played it from console to PC that I played it twice. I don't think the second time I played all the way through, but it was really enjoyable. And stuff like this, the environmental stuff looks really cool. And then it looked, how many characters were there that we had? Is this what they were showing us right here? Let's see if I, if I miss it. Yeah, let's let's just start here and see. And I'll pause it. And let's see how many characters you can play. It's somewhere right around here. Show me. <laughs> there you go. So that's six characters. I'll probably end up showing us all the characters. <coughs> that's cool. Must be three women, three guys, hopefully. That's how they split it. This environmental stuff, that looks really cool. Like stuff like this with the electricity in the water. I was wondering if you could just jump over it, but it was silly because they showed you, you know, it's a demo and they're, they're trying to hype you up about the game, but they show you here and then she turns off the water. And she jumps over it, the electricity. But all this stuff with that flesh manipulation melting burning zombies that's cool and then there was um yeah like i don't know i'm pretty i'm pretty sold it looks really good this here changing the weapons these claws those are badass i wonder if you build them and then you can level them up you know, like if they start off at like level one and you can level them up to like level three or level 10 or something like that, that would, that'd be cool. Did we see much in here? Let's go back here. Let's see. All right. So we got weapons. Weapons workbench we make right away. Fabrication. Up there, we got our skill points or our XP. Money. So you're earning money. Almost 14 thousand level nine fourteen thousand at level nine level nine katana so level match level nine yeah so you can go up i was asking so you can keep leveling them up so mods nine out of nine perks 23 out of 27 damage force speed max durability upgrades match level cool and it costs six thousand so okay Gonna cost a lot of money. I thought thirteen thousand nine hundred and thirty-five dollars was a lot, but 
going to end up being 6,000 for that. Uh, what was on this next page? This was upgrades. So these are electricity one, two, and three. Fire one, two, three. And then I guess this is the blade one, two, and three. Okay, cool. So you can do the mods or the upgrades three times, depending on what mod you want to go with. Then over here, the fabrication is all the things you have to collect. A virtual weapon, fire damage, and gives a major damage boost. Okay, cool. Superior. Is there another page? Yeah, this page. There's more upgrades. Power 258. Uncommon. Slaughter. Over here, I have no idea what all this means. Like lightweight, like a feather, probably. Dismemberment, right there. Maybe this one is run fast because the shoes. Yeah, stash in the ground. That's the one that she had earlier. So those are mutations. Is that what they called them? I don't remember, but yeah. I think it was those were the only pages. And then these are the workbenches. That's cool. Yeah, I'm really excited. I appreciate hanging out with me. Appreciate you going through this with me. This guy was entertaining, so probably see a lot of characters like this. Write down in the comments if you liked his purple panties. Be nice, though. <laughs> the environmental stuff, like you can have different canisters, which fell here a second ago. She shot. Yeah, right there. And then she threw like some meat bomb thing looking pretty exciting wonder how long the game's gonna be but i'm gonna give it probably a month or two after it comes out kind of see how people are right away you know it's gonna have a lot of issues all these games have issues they never come out perfect but that's a big thing yeah thanks for watching this uh extended gameplay trailer of dead island 2 like I always say, I appreciate you following me or subscribing, depending on what platform you're on. I appreciate you hanging out with me until the end. Uh, it's always up to you if you want to subscribe or like. Subscribing, following, liking, that's just kind of like a currency that we get as creators. We always appreciate it. The more we get, the closer we get to our goals, channel goals. And I just would like you to know, I... I'm very blessed for the ones who are following me and hanging out with me, watching these videos. So thanks for being a friend. Thanks for hanging out. I do appreciate you. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Have a great weekend because today is my Friday. Love you all. Bye.